coping. Um, I've called my show Luxury Tramp. Um, yeah, I'm a bit like a jacuzzi, basically. I'm decadent, but hygienically suspicious. Um, I am aware... <laughs> I am aware that Luxury Tramp is an oxymoron, that's fine with me, I love them. Because uh, to me they're words that are told they're not supposed to be together, but they do it anyway, and I think that's a little bit romantic. <laughs> Isn't it? Do you like oxymorons, Poppin? Yeah, do you know what they are? No? Because I'm talking about spotty cretins. Um, an oxymoron, don't be embarrassed, an oxymoron is basically a phrase that contains a contradiction within itself. So the standard examples are like, deafening silence or nice tracksuit. <laughs> There's a, there's a lovely one on Wikipedia, actually, Microsoft Works. <laughs> My personal favourite of all time, though, Fun Run. <laughs> and it can be awesome, though, awesome to watch other people run. Uh, I was waiting for my train to leave last week, and on the platform, I saw one of those perfect women, one of those pristine, immaculate, not hair out of place women that if she hadn't moved, you'd have thought, photoshopped. Uh, you know, suspiciously perfect, but she did this wonderful humanising thing. She was, she was a human dichotomy, she changed in front of me. She saw that our train was her, that, that she wanted to get, and she decided to charge and run me for this train, and went from perfect and serene to, like, basically a charging rhino in a skirt suit. Like, she properly went for, like... <laughs> she managed to grab the doors, right, just before they shut, but the doors kept wanting to shut, so she heaved them open just enough to turn herself half halfway like side on and she got herself halfway in the train doors which was halfway in the doors went boom, right down her middle right and at this point none of us on the train could pretend we hadn't been watching <laughs> so there was an audible Ooh. <laughs> and obviously she's quite embarrassed she managed to get in before the train moved off like boobing then hipping then thigh then knee then toes and fingers bless her right no, not perfect anymore and she shuffled off quite embarrassed it's absolutely true the little old woman next to me went Lucky girl. <laughs> and then her little old husband next to her went, I'd say, <laughs> lucky door. <laughs> she said, yeah. uh, I can tell you now, thank you so much for being lovely. It's actually my birthday today. Uh, so if you, thanks, if you hadn't been lovely, I definitely would have cried. Um, I'll see you in Edinburgh. <laughs>